A lot of people all over the world eat fish on a Friday. So today's cooking sketch is going to be a fish dish. We are going to pan fry some salmon and going to give it a nice crispy skin. With that we are going to serve a nice crushed potato salad with some crab meat work through it, some spring onions and some coriander. We are going to finish that off with some nice oven roasted tomatoes. For a warm crushed potato salad, I have boiled 200 grams of waxy potatoes in the skin and peeled them. I'm now cutting up one spring onion for our crushed warm potato salad. And I'm using the green part and I'm using the white part. I'm also using some coriander and I'm just picking the leaves of the stalks and you want about four tablespoons of coriander leaves. Do not chop them, just leave them whole. That will look nice in the crushed potato salad. We're now going to make a simple vinaigrette using some olive oil some lemon juice, some salt and some pepper and we're gonna add about two teaspoons of water to it. Okay I got a nice piece of salmon here it's about 150 grams. The skin is on but I've taken the skills off. We're gonna try and give it a nice and crispy skin and to do so, we have to make sure the fish does not curl up during the frying. So, to prevent the fish curling up, we are going to score the fish. And we lightly season the fish with a little salt in the scores. So we're now going to start our warm potato salad with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. 200 grams of parboiled and peeled potatoes. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to crush them lightly. I'm not totally going to mash them. I'm just going to crush them lightly. So we are going to add the crab meat. We're going to add about 100 grams of crab meat to the potatoes. Now it's the first time we are going to add a little bit of the dressing also. To give it a nice taste. So a little bit of the dressing goes in that is about well a tablespoon. The spring onions and the coriander. To the potato salad to make it all nice, leafy and green. And now it's time to start on our fish. Some olive oil in the pan. And while the oil is heating up we also take a little look at our potato salad. We keep our eye on everything. And when the olive oil starts to smoke, we add our salmon to the pan. And this is what you want to hear.
push the salmon down. And while the salmon cooks, we season our potato salad a little bit with some pepper and some salt. Maybe add a little more of the vinaigrette. Maybe just another teaspoon. And you want to flip the salmon over on the other side when it has cooked for about two thirds upwards. So this is about the point when we want to flip our salmon over. And then after about two minutes on the other side you want to turn off the heat, get the salmon off the heat and then it's time to start plating. It's now time to plate the dish. I've scooped the potato salad into this bowl and I'm gonna turn it upside down onto the plate so it turns out nice our salmon goes on top I cut up six cherry tomatoes in half and on each half of the cherry tomato I put a little bit of a garlic paste and some dried French herbs, a little bit of pepper and some olive oil. I'm now going to dry those tomatoes in the oven and I'm going to let them dry in the oven for about four hours four hours on about 50 degrees centigrade. You want to go as low as your oven will go. And we are gonna finish it with the oven dried cherry tomatoes. The tomatoes have been dried in the oven for about four hours on a nice low heat so they do not really go all dry. There is still a little juice inside. And then we are going to spoon over some of the vinaigrette. over the tomatoes and we spoon some vinaigrette over the fish and potato salad we give it a last grind of pepper and then the plate is finished